Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at set 76206. It is the Iron Man figure from the Infinity Saga Lego Marvel line, uh, brand new January 1st, and it has 381 pieces and retails for $40. Um, I think he's cute. I just wanna start off by saying that. But here is his box, and we have a ton of mech suits. Uh, I don't think this one actually is really meant to be so much of a mech suit as it is just supposed to be some kind of strange in-between statue of Iron Man. I like it, I don't know. I just like the weird in-between sizes sometimes of things, and I think it doesn't look too bad, honestly. I really like the box. Uh, you can see Thanos in the corner, and then comic strips of Lego Marvel on the side look really good uh, there and there. So really nice, part of Infinity Saga. So I guess anything's gonna fall under that branch for the most part now that's not active movie release. Good Marvel box on the side. And I don't have Marvel often enough to actually know if this is new packaging, but it looks really good. I am, oh, on the back it's, it's Lego Thanos. I like that. And then you can see Iron Man flying. There's a light brick included and he comes with his little stand. So pretty cool. I really also like the size of this box. Sometimes boxes have weird sizes. Uh, this one is not one of them. So here's Iron Man. Here's his little plaque, which is just one big sticker. It talks about that it's Mark 43 Iron Man and gives some information and it's just on a very simple build. Uh, we're used to seeing these little plaques on higher end Lego models or uh, statues. This is not really one of those, so it's kind of weird that they included it. Lego sometimes does that to just randomly throw people off because uh, this set isn't very expensive and it's not, I wouldn't say very accurate. Um, it's got lots of detail, but like it's not the most accurate build that they could ever do, but it has a plaque, so whatever. Um, I think it's cute still nonetheless. Taking a look at Iron Man, and I think my biggest complaint with him is his head is large. It's overly large. It should be a little bit smaller and it's not quite proportioned to his body, uh, but it's a nice printed piece. There are lots of stickers. This is a $40 set after all, so stickers here and here and here and here, uh, and then here and here. So he stands really well and he doesn't have super wobbly feet or anything. Uh, he has repulsors on his hands, which look pretty cool, and then just built-in ones on his feet, which they work, you're not gonna see them though. Um, this probably would have been a cool, uh, a cooler model had they included a way to make him like fly and lift off the ground. That would be obviously more expensive, but might make this a little bit more playable or displayable, because it's, it's playable, because it's articulated, but I mean, displayable, it's there, it's just not the best. Um, I think that this is a good compliment though to the Iron Man helmet. Um, and I also have to say that the gold is really, really nice. Uh, I think it looks very pretty. Um, and then we have the main arc reactor in the er, arc chest piece in the front. The light brick is right back here and you just press it and it doesn't have the best effect. Uh, it kind of gives it the effect that it's working. And you know, Lego doesn't use light bricks very much for really anything anymore. Uh, but I like when they throw them in every once in a while because it's, it's so gim gimmicky. I love it uh, personally. But overall, I think that he's kind of nice. Uh, and then he also has some little blast off sections here and here, which look cool. The backside doesn't look bad. It really reminds me of the uh, Star Wars Build-A-Figures that we got back in like 2015 and 16 and 17, only this one's just much more brick built. It doesn't have any large molded pieces. And it just reminds me of that. I liked those, but a lot of people didn't. So a lot of people might not like this. I personally like it. I think it's cute. And then it moves. You can put it in all kinds of different poses and the poses hold, um, looks really neat. So overall, I'm a big fan of it. Personally, I think that it's cute, but I definitely see how it's not gonna be up everybody's alley, of course, but that's what this review is for, is to help you decide. But anyways, there he is, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and as always, thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.